I was talking to a former colleague, Anne, about great customer service, and she said, you know that phrase, the customer's always right? <laughs> yeah, well, that's a bunch of bullshit. The general public is frequently confused and misinformed and emotionally unstable, and while they are not necessarily bad people, after having to deal with the frustrations from their lives, their bosses and their spouses and so on, they simply cannot resist lording it over the people who, as part of their job description, have to be nice to them. Now, Anne, besides being a very talented artist, also happened to have been a restaurant server for many years, so she knew only too well what it was like to be on the receiving end of churlish customers. And one day she witnessed a cashier in a UPS store getting loudly insulted by some donkey on two legs. And he was so bullying and vulgar that the cashier had to escape to the restroom to keep from crying in public. And this triggered Anne a little bit, so she took a few minutes to draw up a funny little award certificate in praise of the cashier's saintliness in the face of abuse. And she tucked it into an envelope along with a gift card from Target that she'd had rattling around in her purse. And she left it for the cashier. And then she walked off, not waiting around for any thanks, just enjoying the sensation of offering some anonymous comfort. And she got about half a block away and the cashier caught up to her and just gave her a hug. And Anne said that that was life-changing the sensation of providing a little emotional band-aid. And now she always has her periscope up for a chance to bring a little light to service people. She no longer walks into stores or restaurants or onto flights with the attitude that she is the one to be waited on. She comes aboard as the emotional support elf, looking for ways to be reassuring and comforting and helpful to the people providing the service. And she says to me, if I want my meals and flights and grocery shopping to be a lot more fun by orders of magnitude, that's one way to do it.